what happens when you have toddlers. Yeah, got the trash barrel and all the mail and his toy. That was kind of an endeavor. Auto, let's go. He wanted to play by the road, didn't want to leave his toy. And there was a lot of mail to get, so. Well, I guess that's what you do. Well, it's Christmas time, so we're gonna be doing some Christmas things. We're gonna be going to a Christmas party. And uh, today, we're gonna give the chickens one of their favorite things, which is a papaya skins. And then uh, we're gonna get a bunch of green waste from my um, my friend out in Kahalu, and we're gonna go and get a bunch of uh, new wood chips to lay all in their garden bed right over here. Gotta come here for everyone in Hawaii. Ken's fresh fish. Whew. Okay, we got a mulched up mango tree. Load it in here. Dump it in right there. It's a windy day. All right, that's the first load. Fortunately for you, I can just cut to the next clip and it'll all be done, but not for me. Say hi. All right, well, I forgot to take a video of when I finished it. <laughs> this is like two weeks later and you can see all that green and white is already turned brown. And it's actually moved from here all the way down to there. So the chicken just push and scratch and scratch and scratch all the way until it's pretty much moved all the way down here now. This is all just slowly moved downhill every time I reload it up there. Well, I've got you here, might as well show you. I had a light hanging up, it fell, it was up there, to help trick them into being more active at night so that they would lay more. And then I've been soaking their food and I've been adding Crushed red pepper flakes all in here. That helps to heat up their internal body temperature so that they're more likely to lay eggs. We went from about four to six eggs a day and two days ago we got 17, yesterday we got 11, and so far today we've gotten 12. Warm them up and give them light. Uh, I don't know. 